how are you guys? And here we are again for our new video lesson. Just keep on watching, enjoy learning, learn more, and aim high. Welcome back guys, and if you are new to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe and click the bell icon for more updates. In this video, you will learn the shortcut in solving quadratic equations by factoring using the reverse of FOIL where A equals 1. Learning the shortcut is a way of solving easier and faster for some mathematical problems. Using the same examples, we have number 1 x squared plus 9x plus 18 equals 0. As you can remember, the values of x here are negative 3 and negative 6. Observation. If c is positive, then the sign of its two factors is the same as sign of b. Meaning to say, if b is positive, then the sign of the two factors of C is positive. On the other hand, if B is negative, the sign of two factors of C is negative. Next, task 1. Identify the values of B and C. Thus, B equals 9, C equals 18, considering that A equals 1. Next, task 2. Write the factored form with factors of x squared in each parenthesis. Like this. Task 3. Think of two factors of 18 whose sum is 9. And if we think it properly, it will come up to our mind that the two factors of 18 with the sum of 9 are 3 and 6. Task 4. Write the complete factored form supplying the factors of C in task 3. So we have quantity of x plus 3 times quantity of x plus 6 equals 0. Task 5. Give the values of x by taking the opposites of the constant term in each factor. So we have the factors x plus 3 and x plus 6. The constants are positive 3 and positive 6. To give the values of x, we only get the opposite of this number, positive 3, and the opposite of positive 6. Therefore, x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 6. Number 2. x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0. Observation 1. If c is negative, then one of its factors is positive while the other factor is negative. Observation 2. The sign of B will be taken as the sign of the factor of C with higher absolute value. Next, task 1. Identify the values of B and C. Thus, in our equation, B is negative 2 and C equals negative 15. Task 2. Write the factored form with factors of x squared in each parenthesis. Thus, we have this. Task 3. Think of two factors of negative 15 whose sum is negative 2. And if we think it properly, the factors of negative 15 with sum of negative 2 are 3 and negative 5. Next, task 4. 
write the complete factored form supplying the factors of C in task 3. Thus, we have quantity of x plus 3 times quantity of x minus 5 equals 0. Task 5, give the values of x by taking the opposites of the constant term in each factor, like what we did in number 1. So, we will get the opposite of this and the opposite of this. Thus, x equals negative 3 and x equals 5. Okay? Next, try to answer this quickly. Solve the following quadratic equations by factoring. Number 1, x squared minus 10x plus 21 equals 0. Since we're going to solve this one quickly, we will try to use the shortcut. Just try to observe and do your task. First, the sign of c is positive, so therefore the sign of its two factors are the same. Considering b is negative, so the sign of the two factors of c are both negative. Next, write the factored form with the factors of x squared. We have this. And think of those factors of 21 that if we're going to add, the sum is negative 10. Again, those numbers are both negative. And if you think it clearly and properly, it will come up to your mind that the numbers are negative 3 and negative 7. So therefore, the complete factored form now is quantity of x minus 3 times quantity of x minus 7 equals 0. Next, give the value of x by taking the opposites of negative 3 and negative 7 or taking the opposite of each constant term in each factor. Thus, x equals 3 and x equals 7. Number 2, x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals 0. Observe, the sign of c is negative. Therefore, the sign of its two factors are different. One is positive and the other one is negative. And take note that the sign of b will be the sign of the factor of c with higher absolute value. Next, write the factored form with the factors of x squared. So we have this. And we have to think the factors of negative 12 that when we add, the answer is positive 4. Just try to think it clearly and properly. And it will arrive to your mind that the numbers are positive 6 and negative 2. So our complete factored form now is quantity of x plus 6 times quantity of x minus 2 equals 0. So give the values of x by taking the opposites of 6 and opposite of negative 2. Thus, x equals negative 6 and x equals 2. If you are going to check just substitute the value or the values of x to the original equation. Like this. So this is our checking for number 1. For x equals 3. For x equals 7. So 0 equals 0. 0 equals 0 check. Checking number 2. For x equals negative 6. x equals 2. 0 equals 0. 0 equals 0. Check. So guys, mga learners, this is the end of our lesson. Solving quadratic equations by factoring using the reverse of while where a equals 1. Since this is just the part 1 of the lesson, expect that we have the part 2 wherein the leading coefficient is higher than 1 or the value of a is greater than 1. And before I will officially end with this session, let me share this to you guys. If you hate the subject, 
try to love the subject teacher until you love the subject too. Bye, Sir Mar. Thank you so much. Hi.